Hello boys and girls, we have a new week, a new assignments and new lessons. In this week we are going to be learning about numbers in pattern or pattern numbers or number patterns. The way you want to call it, but this week we are going to focus on patterns. We are going to start defining what is a pattern. Number pattern is a pattern or a sequence in a series of numbers. You can see the examples down below. That says this pattern generally establishes a common relationship between all numbers. What is that common relationship between all numbers? If you see here we have 11, then jumps to 17, then 23, 29, 35, 41, 47 and 53. What is the pattern here? You can see it here with this plus 6. It means the relationship between 11 to 16 or that sequence is of 6 numbers. 11 plus 6 is equal to 18. 17, I'm sorry. And we have 17 plus 6 is equal to 23. 23 plus 6, 29. 29 plus 6, 35. 35 plus 6, 41. 41 plus 6, 47. 47 plus 6, 53. That is the sequence between one number and another is plus 6. And we have here two more uh, example boxes or input and output boxes well said you have 13 initial and then when you get everything out you have 17 so what is the relationship between 13 to 17 you got 13 you, you can use addition subtraction or multiplication depending on the pattern you see from so good then we have here 20 to 24 22 to 26 41 to 45 42 to 46 now let's find out what is the pattern here 13 to 17 13 14 15 16 17 so here we have four options a subtract 4 b subtract 5 c add 4 d add 5 we see that from 13 to 17 we have to add four numbers so then here the relationship is plus four means you have to add four so the correct answer here is c and the second a machine or input box i don't know how you call it yet. we have 14 goes to 20. 28 you end up having 34. 37 you make 43 after 42 then you have 48 50 then you got 56 you can see this uh, box like uh, let's say a bank account you input 14 dollars into your account at the end of the month you have 20. you have 28 dollars in your bank account at the end you have 34. so what uh, the relationship it will be add six what is the number pattern or what is the pattern in number we have three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen bank let's write the pattern if you can't to find out what is the number pattern here you have to use either addition multiplication or subtraction by having a three goes to six six goes to nine nine goes to twelve 12 goes to 15, 15 goes to 18. So I think that it is very clear for you that the pattern here or the rule is adding 3. That will be the next number here 18, 19, 19, 18, 19, 20, 21. So the next number here will be 21. So that will be add, add 3. Okay, next exercise 20, 18, 16, 14. 12 10 from 20 drops to 18 
18 grew up to 16, 16 grew up to 14, 14 grew up to 12, 12 grew up to 10. So here the next number would be 8. That means, which is subtract, subtract 2 or minus 2. I fix this R. Next exercise is 2, 2, 6, 6, 8, 8, 2 goes to 6 that's 4 4 goes to 8 okay from 2 to 6 go to 4 but 4 goes to 2 so then we have that would be 12 here we add 4 and then we add only 2 which is 14 the pattern here is 4 2 4 and 2 this is the way how this works here aquí trabajando con las secuencias en esta primera opción como ustedes pueden ver acá eh, hay una secuencia contando de 2 en 2 de 5 en 5 y de 10 en 10 si ya tenemos 2 más 2 es igual a 4 4 más 2 va a ser igual a 6 6 más 2 va a ser igual a 8 8 más 2 va a ser igual a 10 y 10 más 2 es, va a ser igual a 12. Y en la siguiente secuencia contando de 5 en 5 es decir que a cada número que usted ve acá eh, vamos a sumarle 5. 10 más 5 es igual a 15. 15 más 5 es igual a 20. 20 más 5 es igual a 25. 25 más 5 va a ser igual a 30. Y en la siguiente secuencia tenemos contar de 10. O sería más 10. ¿Verdad? 10 más 10 igual a 20. 20 más 10 va a ser igual a 30. Exactamente. 40 más 10 va a ser igual a Perdón, 30 más 10 va a ser igual a 40. Y 40 más 10 va a ser igual a 50. 50 más 10 va a ser igual a 60. 60 más 10 va a ser igual a 70. Es esto como hacemos la secuencia o patrones de los nombres. Y acá en este extremo también tenemos lo mismo. En esta opción vamos a sumar más 10 con la niña de que está acá, más 100, más 1000. 80 más 10, 90. 90 más 10 es igual a 100. 100 más 10, 110. 110 más 10 es igual a 120. 120 más 10 es igual a 130. 130 más 10 es igual a 140. Aquí vamos a sumar de 100 en 100. 100 más 100, ok, es 200, ¿verdad? Pero aquí tenemos 700. 700 más 10, más 100, es igual a 800. 800 más 100, es igual a 900. 900 más 100, igual a 1000. 1000 más 100, es igual a 1100. 1100 más 100, es igual a 1200. Seguimos con otro contando de 1000. 1000 más 1000, 2000. 2000 más 1000 es igual a 3000. 3000 más 1000 es igual a 4000. 4000 más 4000, 5000. 5000 más 1000 es igual a 6000. Y 6000 más... I said that you have to be working on and I'm going to help you with the first one which says which number comes next. Let's do that. We have 30, 36, 42, 48. From 30 to 36, there's a 6 here. From 36 to 42, is 6 again. And from 42 to 48 is 6 again. So I mean that to, to 48, I'm going to add 6, which is going to be 54. So the rule here is plus. That one is done for you now. You are on your own to solve the following exercises. The same goes with uh, the next example here or next activity you have to do is to work on this using multiplication. Remember to uh, get the pattern you can use addition 
multiplication, subtraction, or division in this exercise so far, you are going to be using multiplication. What pattern occurs from the shaded row in column from the multiplication table below? We have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. 3 is the same, of course. Uh, we have option A, B, C, and D. You have to identify what is the sequence of the pattern. Same goes with the following exercises here. What is true about the shaded numbers in the chart below? You have 9999999. So read the options you have here and identify the answer for it. And then here says what is the pattern of the shaded numbers on the chart below? Your options are 3, are 12 multiplied by 6 or multiplied by 8. You have to read those numbers 66 goes to 69. 72 goes to 75, 75 goes to 78. You have to pick the right choice out of those four you see there. Here, this is an in and out machine. Okay, you input 6 and you got 60. And you input 8, you got 80. You input 10 and your output is 100. You have 12. What's well, the next number? To identify the next number, you have to count from 60 all the way to down and you will be able to identify the correct answer based on the question you see. And here, Jennifer wrote the pattern below 7, 14, 21, 28. 35, 42. Which statement describes the pattern that Jennifer wrote? A pattern of odd numbers, a pattern of even numbers, a pattern of multiplying by two, a pattern of skip counting by seven. It's up to you to decide which pattern is there. Thank you and have fun.